Well, here's a quick video to sort of make people aware of the fake Casio G-Shock watches that you can get. These two are genuine. Now, I've owned this one for quite a long while. I uh, use it for work, regular, and I've owned this one for uh, probably a few months. And uh, I wear this one out every now and then. So these two are genuine. Um, but recently I bought another one from Amazon, which is fake. Now, this is the fake one. So just make it a quick video to sort of show people that you can get fakes and what to you know, look out for if you are trying to buy one and you think you might have a fake. Um, one of the things on here, if you look there, it says, if you can see, it says Casio Japan on the fake, on the buckle. Um, it's also very stiff to get through. It doesn't pass through. You have to sort of jam it through. It's, uh, you know... And the other thing is, if you look at the genuine uh, genuine ones, they've got this sort of curve to them that makes them comfy, and they just feel really sort of nice and flexy and rubbery. This one's uh, got a little kink in it where it's been worn quite a bit. But, you know, compare that sort of curve on those ones to the uh, to the fake one. It's very straight. Um, but as I say, yeah, it says Japan on the on the catch. Casio Japan. I don't think any of the genuine ones are made in Japan. They have a movement that's made in Japan. Um, so on the two genuine ones, uh, you can see that they say Casio Thailand. Um, some do say Casio China. Depends, but they're either made in uh, China or Thailand. The bulk of the watch. Um, just the movement is made in Japan. So that's one of the ways. Um, the other way, they've got this little quirk on these that when you do the stopwatch, um, if you start, if you watch the um, tenth, hundredth and thousandth of a second here, when you stop it, you get this little blip where it sort of stops and then blips over, probably as it's cal uh, calculating the tachymeter or something. Um, I'll just do it again, you'll just see it if I stop now. Start, stop. Start, stop. It stops and sort of blips over. Genuine ones do that. Um, this is a genuine. This does the same thing. But if I put, if you look at the fake one, um, you'll see it just starts, stops. You know, it's it doesn't do that, um, which is just another way to tell. Um, so that's another way. The easiest way to tell now there might be some fakes that don't do this but uh, a genuine one if i show you on the two genuine ones here go to time um so if i go if i adjust it what i'm going to do is go back five minutes so we go we go to 41 minutes and what happens with the hands it goes backwards okay here's a genuine one as well the same thing we can go back five minutes so one two three four five goes backwards now, it's probably the easiest way you know what's going to happen with this one um, so I'll go back five minutes on this one one two three four five and watch what happens it goes forwards and uh, the other thing you can notice this this hour hand sort of jiggles around I don't know if you can see it it, um, it sort of sort of shuffles around it uh, just doesn't look very sturdy um, and the finish on this one as well. I've seen the genuine one, and it's uh, the genuine one has got a much nicer finish. It's very glossy, and you can't read the little uh, the little things in there that tell you, you know, that the uh, alarms on and whatnot. You just can't read them on here. And there's also like blobs in the finish where they've sort of painted or lacquered it, and uh, there's bits of sort of dust in there and that. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I know there's a couple of bits on this section in between the two LCDs. Um, whether you can see or what, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it's going forwards. It only needs to go back a few minutes, yet the thing has to go forwards like 11 hours to... So the motor in here is, uh, you know, obviously not capable of, of going um, 
going backwards like these. It's also a lot slower. Let's see if I could demonstrate that. Um, uh, how can I demonstrate that? If I go world time, UTC, that's going to go forward. So let's let's just let me just if I go backwards with this one, and then we can go. We can go forward, so it's just going to go back an hour. Right, let's go forward. Now, watch, look at the speed difference with the genuine. So, if I go forwards on that, forwards on that, you can see the speed. It's uh, well, it's done its hour already, but that's going to have to go all the way around again, isn't it? Anyway, the speed's uh, a lot different. It's a lot faster on there. It's another way you can tell. It's a bit hard to tell if you haven't got one to compare against, but. Um, Gonna have to wait for this to uh, to stop now, but you know they've done a good job of making it look. If you've never owned one, then you probably might buy it and uh, think, you know, oh yeah, it's not a bad watch. Um, and say it does lose about ten seconds in a week as well, whereas these two just don't. These two stay sort of bang on. Um, you know, little things like that. The uh, quartz oscillator in this is just cheap uh, compared to a genuine one but uh, I've just got to wait for it now because there's one last thing I'll try and demonstrate so if we look at that at the moment you've got the hour hand in between these two LCD um, pieces here now one feature of this watch is you know the G-Shock supposed to be a rugged watch so but I noticed with this one you can actually bang it and move the uh, hour hand it looks like it's got a bit of play in it when it's uh, adjusting itself and uh, sure enough it has because if I if, if I give it a knock now hopefully we'll see it it's uh, so it's up you know it's it's in between it's at three o'clock at the moment isn't it so let's just give it a tap and uh, well look at that <laughs> it's uh, all of a sudden it's uh, almost half past two so uh, yeah you can just it just you just tap it and there you go it's uh, it's beyond three o'clock now so <laughs> It just proves that this is super cheap. So, um, yeah, it was uh, an Amazon seller that was. I never really looked. I just bought from Amazon and uh, didn't realise, thinking it was, uh, you know, you're going to get a genuine watch. But uh, no, it was a, a Chinese seller. Uh, there's a link in the description to the screenshot of this seller, um, who I've already left negative feedback for, and uh, so has somebody else actually. And it's a new seller as well. So. Uh, but uh, yeah, steer clear of these fake G-Shocks. It's just a shame that some people might buy this and think, oh, these G-Shocks ain't that very good quality, where well, if you buy a genuine one, they really are. Um, so hopefully this helps, you know, make people realise that you can get fakes and just be aware that, uh, make sure you're buying your watch from somewhere that you can trust really um, this is going back to Amazon tomorrow and uh, hopefully they will destroy it and ban the seller um, so I hope that helps someone and uh, enjoy your genuine G-Shocks